One more time. Okay, we I downloaded a base mesh from uh from BlendSwap. Let's see what we can do with him. Let's uh let's add a modifier, multi resolution, so that we can do some sculpting. Let's go into sculpt mode. Let's sculpt some uh wrinkles on this guy. Okay, and please take more time than this. When you do it, I'm just trying to get this done. A quick tutorial here. Okay, smooth it out a little bit because that looks like I don't know he's got a big cancer on his chest all right so let's say that you're happy with that you've just done some wrinkles shift D boom now I have a new mesh I'm going to press the M key to just get it onto its own layer so I don't have to deal with the other one now notice how I've got this other mesh let's change its name control click low res Okay, let's get rid of the multi-resolution modifier and let's replace it with the subdivision surface modifier. All right. Now let's unwrap him. So tab, let's uh let's see. Now please when you do this, take more time than this. Alt click. Control E mark oops, Control E make seam mark seam. Alt click, Control E mark seam. Alt-click, Control-E, Mark, Seam. Alt-click, Control-E, Mark, Seam. Alt-click, Control-E, Mark, Seam. Control-E, Mark, Seam. Control-E, Mark, Seam. All right, let's see how that does. UV image editor, image, new image, 1024 is probably all right. You unwrap, A, you unwrap. Uh, we've got some screwiness. All right, so let's separate his head. Control E mark seam. Now, this is not a good way to unwrap a character, just so you know. But I'm trying to be quick. Okay, so no overlapping faces. That's all we're looking for. All right. Let's bring up that image that we made that I didn't name. Okay. Now let's uh TN got rid of those things. Let's uh let's reactivate. All right. First we click the high res model which had the multi resolution. Shift click. That gives me the low res model. Now we go over to the bake options. Bake, selected to active. I'll explain that in a second. We want to s normals, bake. All right, this should do the trick. Now how this works is it takes the selected, the first selected mesh, which was the one with the multi-res, high poly, a lot of detail, and it bakes the normals onto the active one, which was the low poly. And you see we've got it right there. So now let's go to our low poly. Now save this image. Image, save the image as whatever. Save it onto your hard drive. You're not going to want to do it into the temporary cache, which is in this window right here. But I'm doing it just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, let's see. UV mapping sampling is a normal map. Uh, and now we want not the color but the normal and now if I go into alt Z I'm not going to see anything let's add a lamp point lamp and now you can see that we have made this low poly mesh look like it has high poly wrinkles on it okay you can do that for the entire face you can do that for muscles you can do that for a lot of things talk to you later